Hey everybody, Chris here from It's Mead Made, and today I am going to show you one of the methods that I use to be able to remove supports easily. So let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, in this video, I am going to show you one way that you can easily remove your 3D printed supports using something that I call the twist and pull method. And one thing that I just feel like I need to tell you is, this might work great for you and it might work terribly for you. And that is all because every single 3D print and all of the supports are always different. And it's really important to understand different types of methods. And I have already created a video where I show you all of the different methods that I use to be able to remove my 3D printed supports easily. And I'll go ahead and put it up in the corner somewhere. I always forget which one. Yeah. So now that we've covered that, Let's go ahead and start talking about the most important thing first, safety. Now, if you have been printing for a while or just a little bit and you've removed some supports, you might have already realized that removing supports sometimes, depending on the size of the supports and stuff, I mean, they can be razor sharp once you start breaking them. And when you're done, your hands have all these tiny little cuts or big cuts on your hands. And it looks like you were trying to do like a dental inspection with a badger or something. I mean, I've walked away sometimes when I first got started into 3D printing and I had just blood dripping down my hands and I had little cuts everywhere. And I was like, there has got to be a better way. So be sure to get a set of safety glasses and some cut resistant gloves to be able to save your hands and to be able to save your eyes. All right, so this method I call the twist and pull method. And I'll tell you where this really shines is when you're dealing with just regular supports, like standard supports. And what you want to first do is really look in there. I don't know if this is too bright. Let me darken it up. There we go. Now you can kind of see the lines of the support, like the back and forth, the zigzag pattern in that. That is really what we're looking at. And this method is really good to use when the supports are coming off of the build plate because now it's flat and I can easily see where all of those supports are. So this is what I do. I will either take a nice set of needle nose pliers or I will take another type of pliers to where I can get in there. So we're basically going to push this through the supports and then we're going to twist to be able to break it off of the 3D print. Now, the one thing before we get started, you wanna first look, is there any supports that you can easily remove without even having to deal with anything? And right here, I've got this solo support right here. So I can easily just pop, there we go. I just pulled that off, no problem. So there we go, let's get our light back on. And I am going to push in here, and now I'm going to clamp down, squeeze, and then I'm going to twist. And you can see how I got some of our supports already off. And all I'm going to do is just keep repeating this. I'm just going to keep twisting. Now this is the part where you definitely, if you don't already, have your safety glasses on because pieces will go flying. And if you can get it right, you can just continually keep twisting this around and how I'm just removing these supports off one by one. And all I'm doing is twisting. I'm squeezing and I'm twisting. Just getting all of those supports off. And there we go. So you may experience some of your roof supports will be still on there and we'll get to that in a minute. But the first thing, you just wanna get all of these supports off. So I'm just gonna keep twisting And all I'm doing is pushing that in there and then just twisting it off. And there we go. So now I can just grab with my needle nose pliers any of that roof material and just start pulling it off. 
then once I have all of the roof material off that I can get with my needle nose pliers, I'll go ahead and I'll switch to something else. So now I'm going to switch to some snips. And I'll tell you what, if you have these types of snips, I highly, highly recommend just taking these and getting rid of them. Because upgrading and getting a really nice pair of snips, it's just worth its weight in gold. And I just cannot recommend enough to be able to get you a really nice solid pair of snips that are not going to be destroyed on you or the handle breaks off and then you're dealing with just a metal bar. These right here are really nice and heavy duty and sturdy and super sharp. So now I'm going to take my snips and I'm going to just go along the bottom here and just start snipping off any of that extra support that was left over. And it, and if you grab it the right way, you'll be able to just pull quite a bit off at a time and just kind of go with the grain. You don't want to go against it. So if you're going to be pulling pieces off, kind of pull it along the grain of the 3D print, of the roof material. Alright, so there we go. We've got a really nice clean edge right there. All of the support material has come off, but I do have a little bit of like edges right here where the brim material is still attached. Now there are two different methods that we can use to remove that. We can either use an X-Acto knife to be able to just kind of edge all the way around it, or we can use a deburring tool. And a deburring tool, if you've never used one, is really great. And a deburring tool is great because all you have to do is just drag it along the edge and it's going to clean your edges of your 3D prints. So you can see how nice this deburring tool will just get rid of these edges. And I'm just dragging it along the edge of the 3D print. And this is also where it's super important to be able to have your gloves because this edge is very sharp and it can easily cut into you. But because I have my gloves, I'm perfectly safe. And if you're wondering what this is, this is actually the bottom of Louis from DuckTales. And this is from Pixel and Plastic. And just to give you an idea, here is the full bottle so you don't just see the butt. So I hope this method will help you to be able to remove your 3D printed supports easily. And I will just say again, this was just one method. There are so many different other methods to be able to remove your 3D printed supports depending on the situation. So it's important to understand all of the different ways that you can remove your supports. So if you're interested in learning all of the different ways that I use, you can check out this video right here. Other than that, I wish you a great day and I hope to see you over here in this video.